What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 5 guns every American should own. Now I know at the moment there is obviously a few disasters which our hearts goes out mm -hmm. to everyone out there involving guns and stuff like that and uh, we're not really going to get into the debate of whether it's good or bad. We're going to stay clear of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just pretty mental to me looking at this, seeing all them guns already. I think as well, like because obviously in the UK they're not legal for people yeah. to have them. It's like weird seeing them like so casually. We never see anything if like that. That makes this. sense. I've never walked into a shop and had and seen, all, seen like that. all those guns. So it is mind blowing. Um, so like I said, we're staying away from like the politics side of it. Yeah. And this is just more of it, I guess, a curiosity, a kind of like a mind blowing one. Yeah, and also just to see the different types. So they didn't know yeah. there's, like there's so many different types. Yeah, mental. Um so let's get straight into it. We have been off for a few days. Mm -hmm. We've had yeah. I think we had two days. This will be the third day which we're off, but we are e uploading we're tonight. Uploading tonight, yeah. If so you guys have seen this video. Friday today. we went to bed as soon as we got in from work. <laughs> I feel like the whole of like people that we know anyway, yeah. Friday everyone was just is it energy gone. Zapping like day. everyone just lost their energy on Friday. Like Definitely. people we've spoke to, they all went to bed early and it's just Friday, I don't know what happened to us. We were in bed at like seven o'clock. So. Yeah, and it kind of delayed on to Saturday as well. Yeah. But we are back, and we're, what we're doing now, we've, to be fair, we've got about 15 videos loaded. We, we can't bother going to do them all, but we're going to try and get through as many as possible. Hopefully, we get 15 done. Because we then, are going away soon, so we really do need to yeah, give you guys videos for when we're away. Um, and we may be so. doing three a day because we may be doing the one cent on 30 days video like train, which you guys will have will see. Even a couple hours or something like that, but we're going to try and do them. If you guys yeah. want to see them, we'll carry on. If you don't, we'll watch them in our own time because three a day is a long slog. But we don't mind doing it because yeah. we enjoy it, if that makes sense. So uh, smash that like button. I know I said we'll get straight into it like five minutes ago, <laughs> but smash that like mm -hmm. button if you enjoy it, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Yeah, I have got one question before we begin. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting into a debate, but I just wanted to know what the what the age to buy a gun is. I think it's 16. 16. I've been just I think so. to know if I, mean, I think potentially younger you could get it with parents... Permission. Com permission and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and supervised by okay. parents, I guess. But let us know in the comments. Again, we're staying away from the yeah. debates. Um, everyone's got different opinions on it, I guess. But let's see. The five guns every American apparently should own. What we got? Okay. Today we're going to try to discuss the five guns that everybody should own. We've actually got three long guns and a handgun. We decided that the uh, the long range sniper weapon, a uh, two thousand dollar rifle, was out of everybody's range. So we're going to try to get something here with multiple uses rather than have something a specialty item. I think the first gun you need to get is your handgun. Get a Glock 19 9 millimeter, 15 shot magazine. Of course, you always have your 33 rounders. Have plenty of those with you. That's a good handgun to have. That's a good handgun to start with. Next down the line, in order of importance. I'm guessing that's the most common. Yeah, it must be. If like, you're saying it's their best one to start with, then I'm guessing that maybe most... Most common, because I'm guessing the people potentially don't want a massive gun and would want it for self-protection or whatever, mm. would just go with that. It's easy to carry and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and if you want it for, for self-protection, it's easy to just store and... I guess so, whip yeah. Whip out. So whatever. I'm guessing pistols like that are probably the most. Um, but it's mental that you have to go bigger. <laughs> it's mental. Is to have your 1022 Ruger with your BX-25 magazines. Now... Gone through this before. You can kill everything from a ground squirrel to a moose with this. Have plenty of ah, magazines. Americans are into the hunting, aren't they, as well? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of British people out, not, not maybe a lot, but there is a small percentage of British people who have shotguns um, and mm -hmm. stuff like that for hunting. Like, yeah. my stepdad has a double barrel shotgun because he does capers and shooting. Yeah. Doesn't have it in the house, but he does. So it's he like. He has a license to, have, to use it at. A clay pigeon range. Yes, which we have seen on occasions of that. Mm. I mean, it's just mental the fact that you can just walk in shop and then just walk around with it. Is that... And walk, like, have it in your house. And exactly, it. and it's not for a certain sporting <laughs> event or something like that. It's like, bizarre. Next in line uh, in usefulness would probably be this Mossberg pump. This is a 12 gauge that's sold as a kit. Now, with this gun, you get your 18 and a half inch home defense barrel, you get a pistol grip. So you can change it back and forth if this is what you want. And you also get a 26 inch hunting barrel with a vent rib. It's ported and comes with three chokes. This gun will cover everything from small game to deer, bear, whatever you want to hunt with it. And when you get home from hunting, you can always put the pistol grip and the short barrel back on it. You got a fine little home defender there. You can also get a lot of accessories for this gun if you want to trick it out with different stocks and all. But this comes from Mossberg this way. Now, 
Last but not least, everybody needs some kind of combat That's a beast. weapon. Uh, this is a uh, Bushmaster. Just a bit. XM that reminds me of like an army E2S. gun. Yeah, I did guess that was like an M4 or something. Just mm. after COD or something like that. Yeah. And to be fair, I did kind of forget about the hunt inside of it. I completely forgot about it. Which makes sense more about the shotgun stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's necessary though, is it? <laughs> so that is a beast. I feel like that's like what it's you overkill, mean if you're in, in a soldier going yeah, to fight. Yeah, yeah. Proper overkill. Which many other could just get that. In the uh, 556 caliber M4 configuration. Telling me you can get that, but you can't even drive. You can get that 16. I think so. But you can't drive a car. I think so. Crazy, isn't it? You can have the uh, 22 drop-in bolt conversion with the 22 magazine. Now you have to understand that the barrel of this gun is not really designed to shoot 22 LR, so you're not going to get tack driving accuracy. Now you can I fired these before, and you can hit a squirrel or a rabbit at 40 or 50 yards with it, but that's about as good as you're going to do. If you want to shoot more accurately, you have to get a dedicated 22 upper. But this right here can save your life. And I think these are the guns that everybody should own. Eric and I both feel the same way. If you have the money, you can later add some type of a bolt-action, high-powered gun, like a 7.62 bolt-action with a nice scope for long-range shooting. But that's the guns that we think everybody should own. Right, now everything... Uh, <laughs> that's a beast. Later. I'm going to say, then go... But I wonder what... He didn't say what prices there were, did he? No, but I wonder he didn't, what prices are of them. He didn't include the sniper because that was he said $2,000. Mm. So you're probably talking about $1,000, I guess? That's not that much for something like that, you know what I mean? It's not, but it's crazy that like 16-year-olds have that kind of money to buy them. I'm guessing if you were parents 16, it would be parents, them. definitely. Let us, it may not be 16, by the way, we may have got that completely wrong. No. So please let us know in the comments. And if it is an older age, just input what we're saying with an <laughs> older age, I guess. Um, but it's the same thing with a car, though, isn't it, I guess? Yeah. You turn 17, your you can drive. You're probably your parents are going to... It's 3000 $4,000 for a car. They can't really afford it, yeah. the parents do, don't they? So. ...out earlier is definitely right on the money. I agree with him completely about this arrangement. But I do want to throw out the uh, Mosin, the Russian M9130. This is one of those guns that if you and your buddies wanted to go in a couple of grand together, pool your money, you could buy a crate of these things and about five crates of ammo for around $2,000. Right. That's a real good cheap way to arm 10 men. You all get your technique down and train properly on this gun. You can be very deadly in large numbers. Very deadly. Um, this gun will pretty much kill anything on North America. Shoots a uh, 7.62 by 54. Okay, a good battle-proven cartridge that's been in service since 1891. You got good soft point loadings out there for it. You can kill uh, elk, bear, moose, anything. Correct. Deer, uh, two-legged game of all sorts if you need to. And uh, they excel at that. They're good guns. And uh, if you want a high power bolt action and you don't want to spend a ton of money, this is definitely a good way to go. Like Eric said, if you want to, if you want to arm a dozen people, this is, with economically, this is the way to go. Yeah, and it's not junk. I mean, no, they're not it's junk not guns junk. at all. No, this, they're good this guns. Is a damn right, nice rifle. Right. I mean, this is, you know, this is the rifle that, that won the war for the Russians. It certainly did. And a lot of people talk smack about Mosins because they're cheap, but they really are great guns. They are. So this would be a distant fifth. If you guys want to get in a high power rifle without spending a ton of money. Right. But we'd strongly recommend these five guns would be my go to guns and Barry's go to guns. So there you have it. If you can afford it, we were just discussing this before we closed for the day. If you had one of these that was suppressed, with a lot of these magazines, that would be the ultimate survival weapon. You could uh, you can uh, you can snipe with it or whatever you need to do. You can kill game and nobody can hear you. That's a very important thing. People say, well, I'm going to run to the mountains and kill squirrels and rabbits and live off of that. Well, a 22 can be heard for a mile and a half away if it's not suppressed. If this gun suppressed would be the ideal survival weapon. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like I said, we're staying away from the politics side, but it is just mental, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know, a question that's going like, through my head throughout the video was, if this is going to be completely bizarre... Okay, you're gonna think this is so odd. Okay, I'm ready. Well, you might not. Okay. So, this is obviously a shop. Yep. I wonder if gun shops get broken into more than regular shops. Oh, okay. That's actually let's not because it's quite you, good for because <sighs> they've got then, all the magazines. They've got. Is that not okay? We're gonna break into a gun shop. Okay, well it's a gun shop, so they are highly equipped to defend from a robbery. There's a high chance. But are they gonna, gonna get... be there? 
It was like a middle of the night. I guess so, but I imagine there's a lot of high security. Probably. I don't know, it's a good point, actually. Let us know in the comments um, what you think about that. I was just thinking in my head, like, I get some, you mean. some kid that's really into guns and, you know, he, if he wants to rob somewhere, is he, is he probably going to go for this place I rather guess, than... Well then, I guess it's just so accessible, just grab it anyway. Yeah, but if you can't afford it... True. Let us know in the comments. It'll be interesting um, to bam it out, won't it? Mm. Let us know in the comments. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Any, anything else? No. That was a quite a good point. I thought, well done. It wasn't silly either. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Um, again, just mind-blowing, isn't it? Mm. Mind-blowing that this is already available and a shock to the system for us, I yeah. guess. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, smash that like button. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.